Hey, you guys, welcome. This is the Sagittarian Goddess. Thank y'all so much for joining for another reading. So Sagittarius, I'm going to begin with the white cards and then I'm going to clarify that energy using the tarot and the oracle. I hope wherever you are in the world, I hope your day is going well and I hope you know just how prosperous you are. So what does Sagittarius need to know at this time? Thank you, Spirit, for these beautiful messages for Sagittarius. What does Sagittarius need to know at this time? You have a liar, okay? And you have accomplishments. Hmm. Someone could have definitely tried to accomplish something regarding you by lying. Okay, you could have discovered that someone has been lying about something in order to accomplish something. All right, let's see. Or someone is telling like a lie. In order to make something happen here. Let's see. A liar tried to accomplish something here. Let's see. Tell me more. What happens after accomplishment? And we have Larry here today helping us deliver these messages. All right. Let's see. A liar with accomplishments. You could be accomplishing something, uh, Sagittarius. Something that's major to you. Okay, what happens after accomplishment? Miss you. Hmm. There is somebody here that could be lying to get close to you or they're lying about missing you to accomplish something but let's see but either way it goes someone is missing you okay we're going to find out why a liar is here i do feel like someone is missing you though let's see you could be moving up or you could be expanding in something okay let's see what happens after miss you extreme attraction oh wow someone is really missing you or there's going to be a period of time where someone is missing you very very deeply because they're extremely attracted to you someone could have found out someone was lying about you or someone wasn't being honest about you okay to accomplish something why is extreme attraction here? What happens after extreme attraction? What happens after extreme attraction? Belief. Yeah, I feel like someone could have failed for like a lie or there's somebody here who could have found out that somebody was um, trying to get them to believe something about you that wasn't true here. Wow. Let's see. Let's go ahead and get some love messages for these. Thank you, Spirit, for these beautiful messages for Sagittarius. What does Sagittarius need to know at this time? What does Sagittarius need to know at this time? You have finances and career. So your, your finances and your career could be changing. I do feel like with this accomplishment energy, you could be moving up or you could be uh, starting a job or starting a career that pays more or starting a job or career that you enjoy more. It says financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Let's see. You could have met someone at work as well. Hmm. If you met someone at work, you and this person could be keeping something a secret, okay? That's not for everyone, but that's what I'm getting here with liar, accomplishment, miss you, extreme attraction, belief. Okay, let's see. What else does Sagittarius need to know regarding their love life at this time? Yeah, your finances could be changing for the better, okay? Or you could be moving up in something. You could be expanding in your career. 
your um, old job or your old career, like those that you work with could definitely miss you because they accomplished a lot with you. Okay, you could have been a great leader here. Let's see. But it could be time for you to move on in your career or move, move on to something bigger and better. Let's see. Tell me more. What does Sagittarius need to know? Okay, you have reconciliation. Oh, wow. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Wow. Someone definitely wants to reconcile with you. Someone is missing you. I feel like someone is extremely attracted to you. Okay, this doesn't necessarily have to be a lover, but I am seeing like some, some type of makeup. Okay, someone wants to make up with you. This definitely could be a lover though, but this also could be a family member or a friend. Okay, someone that you work with. Let's see. What does Sagittarius need to know at this time? There is a reconciliation of someone who wants to return. Okay, we're going to find out more about this energy. There is someone who wants to return. Okay, you have deception. And it's crazy that we have liar here in reconciliation. And I did feel like for some of you, for a small few of you, there is someone here who is like, who is deceptive or, or who was deceptive, who lied to you, who's missing you now. Or there could be someone who is lying to you about missing you in order to get close to you due to finances, okay? You got to take it how it resonates and use your discernment on this. But we're going to get deeper into this message. I want to get one more. Okay, we do have deception with a reconciliation. And for others, okay, there could have been like misinformation, okay? So there is a reconciliation, um regarding this uh misinformation um you could have felt like there was a lot of deception between you and somebody this could have been dealing with finances okay this could have been dealing with a relationship um or even family or a friend here but i am seeing um that some type of deception is being discussed okay for some of you with a reconciliation okay something is being resolved is what i'm seeing all right but let's see let's get one more what does Sagittarius need to know at this time? Okay, you have chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. And we have extreme attraction here. So I do feel like there's somebody who wants to reconcile. Okay, someone who wants to resolve some type of deception or clear the air. Okay, and get a better understanding of what really took place here to cause... Um, some type of betrayal or what seems to be a betrayal okay um i'm getting that everything is in what it seems in this situation so take heed okay with deception here i do see two people wearing a mask okay two people have their faces covered so i feel like someone could have misunderstood you you could have misunderstood them okay well let's see somebody could be lying at work as well to accomplish something at your job all right let's see the bottom of the deck you have let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others so someone definitely wants to help you this could be dealing with finances as well or with your career all right let's see let's get into the tarot why is why is a liar here tell me more about liar why is liar here Why is liar here? The page of cups. Oh, wow. The page of cups with liar. Wasn't expecting that. Okay, so someone could be lying about an apology or lying about a, a making up or getting close to you. But I'm also seeing that this could be something that you could be fearful of as well. You could be afraid or you could be skeptical. Not necessarily afraid, but skeptical that someone who is being kind to you is being deceptive. They're lying about this offer. They're lying about helping you. They're lying about being sweet and kind and thoughtful towards you. So let's get deeper into this. Tell me more about the Page of Cups here with Liar. The Six of Swords. 
So whoever this person is, like they're coming towards you, Sagittarius. You could be wanting to like get away from this person or you could be uh, wanting to avoid this person because you could feel like this person is lying. You could have moved away from a liar. Okay, let's see. Tell me more about the Six of Swords. Or there could be someone who wants to make amends with you. Like they actually want to make amends with you and they want to... They want to move to common waters with you. They want things to be better with you and them. I do see a reconciliation here. So let's see. Why is the Six of Swords here with the Page of Cups? The world. Someone could have stopped lying about something. <laughs> For some of you, like somebody could have stopped lying and now someone wants to like move forward and close out a cycle. Someone wants to close out some type of deception, okay, or put a stop to like some type of deception. Somebody, I'm seeing somebody who is genuine here for a lot of you. I'm seeing someone here who is genuine, okay? Let's see. For some of you, you close out a cycle with a liar. You moved away from a liar, okay? This person came off as very, very sweet. And for others, there is someone here who is actually very, very kind, very, very sweet. And they don't want to deal with lies. They don't want to deal with uh, deception and things when it comes to you and them. They want things to be peaceful and they want to put a stop to any type of misunderstanding. Okay, let's see. So I'm getting two different stories here. Tell me more about the world. Why is the world here? The Five of Cups. Mm. So if you close out a cycle, if you close out a cycle with someone who constantly lied all the time, who portrayed themselves as someone who wanted to support you, help you, uh, be sweet to you and things like that, this person is in regret now. Okay. And I'm also seeing if there is someone here where you had some type of miscommunication with, okay, or misunderstanding with where you and them felt like there was a lot of deception. I feel like there's a cycle closing out. And I also feel like with this cycle closing out, there's a lot of regret about the past. There's a lot of regret about what, what took place between you and them. So there could be a lot of healing in a connection is what I'm seeing here. There could also be a child here that's moving away or you could be moving away with your child or something like that. Tell me more about accomplishment. Why is accomplishment here? And there's someone here who's sad about that. I do see miss you here in the five of cups. Why is accomplishment here? The three of wands. So there's something that you're waiting on. As you move away or as you excel in something, I see you're excelling in something. You're 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 able to learn something uh better or you you learn more about something so now you're waiting for the results let's see tell me more about the three of wands you're about to accomplish something here that you you put action into and now you're you're waiting patiently tell me more about the three of wands the Knight of Swords. Yes, there is some, some type of news that's coming in regarding you accomplishing something. Or this could be the accomplishment of someone else. Okay, but I feel like you're getting some type of good news. Okay, you have the Ten of Wands to the Star. So this could be something that has taken a long time or something that required for you to put a lot of effort into. And I do see that healing here. Someone wants to heal something with you that has been very, very difficult. Let's see. Someone wants to accomplish this. Someone is communicating this. Tell me more. Why is the Knight of Swords here? The Ace of Swords. Yes. Yeah, someone uh, wants to come in and communicate with you about the truth. Someone is bringing you some type of information about an accomplishment. Wow. So you could be finding out that you've achieved something or that you've been chosen for something. Okay. Tell me more about the Ace of Swords. You could be connected to a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius is standing out here strong. Why is the Ace of Swords here? There's someone here who's in their feelings about you. Oh my goodness. Someone is deep, deeply in their feelings here. Someone could be waiting to accomplish something with you or waiting to like speak to you. Why is the Ace of Swords here? The Six of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like you're about to be given some type of information here with the Six of Pentacles. Or someone is waiting for you to give them some type of information, Sagittarius. 
Wow. Why is Mishu here? Why is Mishu here? The Lover's Song. Oh my. Ooh, this just got real juicy. Mm, there could be more than one person that's missing you. You could be connected to a Gemini. Could be connected to any sign, but Gemini is coming out here heavy with the lovers. Okay? This could be family, friends, lovers, okay? I'm getting multiple people, okay? I feel like um there there are people who are missing you. Someone in particular though here. Someone wants to communicate this. I'm getting some type of communication is coming from somebody and how much they miss you. The magician. You could be you could be connected to a Virgo, a Gemini here strong. Oh wow. Someone misses you and someone can't cannot wait to see you again. I feel like with this magician energy, like someone definitely has a strong attraction towards you like someone wants to put in some type of action someone wants to pull out all the stops here to like get your attention someone is going to show you just how much they miss you here tell me more why is the magician here this person is trying everything this person wants to like try everything with you or do everything with you you know this person could have planned some things tell me more about the magician This person could feel like they're under some type of uh, love spell as well, dealing with this connection with you. The two of swords. Wow. Whoever this person is, they cannot stop thinking about you, Sagittarius. And I am seeing this two of swords here. So I do feel like there is more than one person who's missing you. Okay. This could be a combination of people. This could be family, friends, lovers. Okay. Wow. Tell me more. Why is the two of swords here? There's like a choice to be made. I see somebody making a choice here with the magician, but there is definitely a choice. Like there's a choice between two things. There's more, there's more than one person here that's showing up. Let's see. Tell me more about the two of swords. What is this choice dealing with? Oh, the six of wands. Getting some type of victory with you. This could be your decision as well. There's a reconciliation. Somebody wants to reconcile. Somebody wants to have some type of victory. They want to give to, to a connection. They want to give you some type of information. They want to uh, communicate with you. Hmm. Tell me uh, about extreme attraction. Why is extreme attraction here? The page of wands. Someone is definitely interested in you. Someone wants to let you know that they are extremely attracted to you. They will be letting you know. This person wants to put in action towards you. Tell me more about this page of wands energy. What is this message that this person wants to send uh, to Sagittarius or give? What is this information that Sagittarius is receiving here? Tell me more. Tell me more about the page of wands with extreme attraction. The five of pentacles. Whoever this person is, I feel like they, they're they missing you. Okay? Someone is missing you. They miss talking to you. They miss being around you. Wow. Um, I feel like you're about to find out just how much someone misses you. This person could feel lonely without you. Tell me more about this five of pentacles. Hmm. Someone could be struggling with their finances as well here. Tell me more about the Five of Pentacles. The Page of Swords. This person is keeping a close eye on you. This person could be watching you succeed in something. I do see accomplishment in the Six of Wands here with the Magician. Someone is looking at all the options that you have. Like you have choices and you have options here dealing with some type of victory or accomplishment. Someone is watching you achieve something. Wow, tell me more. This could be an X for some of you. Okay, let's see. 
I'm seeing children as well. Here, tell me more. Why is the page of swords here? Why is this person keeping a close eye on Sagittarius? I know that they're seeing you accomplish something. They're seeing you move forward. They're seeing you gain some type of victory or recognition here. They're watching you reconcile with somebody as well. Oh, judgment. Oh, wow. You have deception here. This could be an ex for some of you, okay? This could be someone that you are not dealing with anymore, okay? And they're still, like, watching your, your moves, okay? Not necessarily watching your every move, but they're definitely interested in you, page of wands, page of swords, like, learning more about you and your whatever your situation is, okay? This person could be struggling financially, or this person could feel like they were left out in the cold by you, okay? Or this is someone that left you out in the cold. But I'm seeing judgment here. So you could have called judgment on some type of deceptive behavior. I do see some type of type of reconciliation. Whoever this person is, they could definitely want to reconcile because of how things were left off between you and them. I am seeing the lovers and the two of swords. So you could be reconciling with more than one person here, Sagittarius. Okay. Why is beliefs here? Tell me more about beliefs. The will of fortune. Your belief system is helping you accomplish things, okay? I do see something turn, uh, something turning in your favor here uh, financially. Things are turning in your favor financially here, going from the Five of Pentacles to the Wheel of Fortune, yes. Wow. Someone could, could want to work with you because of how attractive you are, because of your aura, your vibe. Tell me more about the Wheel of Fortune. Why is this here? The Ten of Wands. Like your hard work is finally paying off. Things are moving in your favor, but it requires for you to like keep pushing and put in the hard work for it. Like this situation or whatever this accomplishment is or this turnaround is from the Five of Pentacles to the Wheel of Fortune, it's not going to come easy to you, okay? But it could look easy from the outside to other people, but it's not coming easy to you. You put in a lot of hard work and dedication to acquire this. Okay, tell me more about the Ten of Wands. What is this dealing with? The Eight of Pentacles. Your, your hard work and your dedication. Your, you being focused on something has gotten you this, okay? Or things are, this will is turning in your favor because of the hard work that you put in. Because of your perseverance. Because of you not giving up, okay? So you could be working hard to save for something or to achieve something and it's working out in your favor. Something is working out, but of course it requires for you to be steady and be consistent in whatever this is. Consistency is key is what I'm seeing here with beliefs, okay? Continue to believe in yourself. Continue to believe and have faith that this situation is working out in your favor and it is so here with the Wheel of Fortune, okay? Tell me more about the Eight of Pentacles. Why is this here? Yeah, it's like um, something is turn, turning around financially for you, okay? If you struggle financially, something is turn, turning around here. And also, someone believes that they want to work on something with you as well. Tell me more about the Eight of Pentacles. The Three of Swords. Yeah, I feel like someone definitely wants to reconcile. Someone feels like they have a lot of chemistry with you, and they hate that, that they didn't, like, fix something, um at a certain point or at a certain time yes there could have been some type of breakup or ending here you could have stopped working for a certain company as well okay you could have dated at work or there's somebody here who who you could have had dealings with at work okay you could have found out that this person was lying about something okay i am seeing um a heartbreak or some type of ending here that happened at work or dealing with your career okay or dealing with finances all right. And I feel like someone is coming in to fix that or you're working on something and it is fixing that, but it requires for you to keep going. OK, someone definitely has a lot of chemistry with you. Uh, this could have been someone that either has a broken heart that broke your heart, you broke your heart or something like that. Someone is realizing that they have a lot of chemistry with you. Uh, someone is feeling like um, a lot of chemistry could have gone to waste. Okay, I don't know where that's coming from, but someone is feeling like some type of chemistry is going to waste between you and them. Hmm. 
you could have felt like you did all you could in a relationship or you did all you could at this job you did all you could to like hold on to something and it just was not working out for you is what i'm seeing here as well all right so let's see and you have the ten of pentacles at the bottom of the day so like what i'm seeing here is that if you did have to let like a job go or let something go or a relationship go like you're getting something back you're getting much more back than whatever you thought that you were missing out on okay all right why is finances and career here tell me more about this why is finances and career here why is finances and career here okay you have relationships okay i'm attracted to those people who serve my higher good so you definitely could be like moving careers or changing careers okay uh getting better relationships with those that you make money with or those who you collaborate collaborate with and i'm also seeing here that a relationship is definitely being affected by finances or finances is definitely affecting a relationship okay this could be for the positive i do see the five of cups to the six of pentacles so i do see someone could be like helping you with your finances or you could be helping someone with their finances or career okay and i do see something working out in your favor here with with the uh with the six of wands okay let's see tell me more about reconciliation why is reconciliation here someone could be trying to make up their mind whether or not they want to reconcile this could be you um whether or not you want to reconcile with this person or with these people hmm Tell me more about reconciliation. You have patience. I accept that everything happens in divine order. So um, if you are looking to reconcile, okay, something requires patience, okay? It's taking time for something to come around with you and somebody here or for someone to come around. But if something is happening here. Something is changing, okay? Like I said, someone could have been trying to make up their mind. I feel like someone is making up their mind to like reconcile. Okay, and you have self-esteem with deception. It says, I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. Okay, so I'm getting this deception could have definitely been like some type of misunderstanding here with self-esteem. Especially with these two wearing this mask. Hold on just a second. So yes, I am seeing that there could have been like some type of uh, miscommunication or misunderstanding between you and someone here with self-esteem because this this talks about the self and being comfortable with yourself wow hmm so there could have been some type of deception on both ends here i am seeing the six of ones to deception with self-esteem okay this is about personal victory gaining personal victory and being supported so someone could have felt like the other person wasn't supporting the other let's see tell me more about chemistry have yeah, growth and judgment here. Hmm. You have judgment twice with beliefs. So in order for something to be worked out with a connection, someone had to grow up. Someone had to um someone had to grow up. Someone had to see something for what it what it was. It says, I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges. And it says, I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. Like someone had to literally grow up or have some type of experience here in order to believe in something. Hmm. Because chemistry can only go so far is what I'm seeing. Like in a connection, chemistry can only go so far. Okay. What does Sagittarius need to know at this time? Okay, I caught these with my knees, y'all. So we're going to go with these, okay? You have the kangaroo with cycle. A nine-month cycle is at play. Your current project will take my nine months to mature and benefit you. Commit fully to it. 
Hmm. I do see you being focused on something and not giving up on something. And this is why things are changing in your favor financially and stability wise. Okay. And then you have the cardinal with adventure. It says you need to live up to your fullest potential, explore new directions and take risks in order to grow as an individual. Okay. And we have self-esteem here with the six of wands. Change may be uncomfortable, but it is necessary. Okay. I see judgment. I see you having to see something for what it is. Yeah, change may be uncomfortable. I feel like um, there was some type of growth here, especially between you and somebody. There was some type of growth where you 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 were both able to see um, some type of deceptive behavior, okay? And then you have the swan with love. It says you have found your soulmate or they are just around the corner. Remember that when two souls are destined to be together, they always find their way back to each other. All those things you've had to go through were worth it. Okay, and we do have chemistry and we have a reconciliation here with love. Okay, so wow, I do feel like there was something that is being, there is something that's being resolved between you and someone. Okay, or someone is wanting to resolve something with you because they realize the love that they have for you and they want to uh, clear the air. So I'm just getting somebody who really and truly wants to clear the air. Okay, there's extreme attraction. There's chemistry. Okay, that someone is missing you. Someone's beliefs could have definitely changed here with judgment to growth. Okay, and you have the panther with guidance. It is time to release your passions, live your dreams, and begin new, a new chapter in your life. You are encouraged to expand your awareness, eliminate fears, and become a whole new person. You are guided and protected. Yeah, I feel like there was definitely a cycle that was closed out here with the six of swords to the world. Okay, I feel like there could definitely be an ending to some type of broken heart. There is some, some type of... Um, healing that's going on we did see that ten of wands with the star earlier and this talks about healing that that is much overdue healing that is um very hard to get through but it's necessary okay and you are being divinely guided and protected sagittarius okay what does sagittarius need to know at this time Sagittarius need to know at this time. Thank you, Spirit, for these beautiful messages for Sag. What does Sagittarius need to know at this time? Okay, you have first quarter moon in Leo. Be humble. Okay, and I do see that three of wands here with accomplishment. I do. Yes, I see you could be accomplishing something. Okay, you could be waiting quietly, waiting patiently uh, for you to achieve whatever this is that you've been working on. Okay, let's see. You could be connected to a Leo as well. Leo, Scorpio, Virgo, Gemini is heavy in the tarot. What does Sagittarius need to know at this time? You could be connected to any sign, but these signs are standing out really strong here. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. What does Sagittarius need to know at this time? Why is the first quarter moon in Leo here with Be Humble? Okay, you have a full moon in Cancer. Let your fears dissolve. So I feel like with this full moon in Cancer, okay, um, there's something standing out with the mother figure here as well or feminine energy, okay? And I'm seeing um, some type of fears or some type of worries um, is is being resolved and is dissolving. It's, it's dissolving. So something is being resolved here. Uh, some type of emo emotional turmoil or emotional confusion, okay, regarding deception, regarding love. Okay, regarding even your self-esteem or someone else's self-esteem or a reconciliation is definitely standing out here. Wow. And I'm realizing here uh, with the full moon in cancer, the, the, the sign of cancer is connected to the home. So something about your home could be being restored as well. And I'm noticing the uh, the first quarter moon in Leo. Okay, uh, Leo is ruled by the sun. So I'm seeing a son and mother here. Okay, something about a son and a mother is standing out and we do have the page of swords the page of cups and the uh page of ones so you could have three sons okay you could be one of three children one of uh one of one of three sons or uh you could be rekindling a relationship with your mother or with your son or um uh there is someone who's missing somebody here i'm, I'm just getting uh something dealing with family is standing out here as well alongside a, a love connection okay 
Let's get your angel number. What does Sagittarius need to know at this time? Thank you, Spirit, for these beautiful messages for Sag. What does Sagittarius need to know at this time? Okay, you have the number zero with I am limitless. It says there is no beginning and no end. All is infinite. It is time to develop your spiritual side. You are gaining new sight and understanding of both godly and earthly things. So I definitely see like some type of growth and this could definitely be spiritual growth, okay, that is taking place for you. It is allowing you to believe more in yourself, okay? You could be born November 30th, December 20th, December 10th. What does Sagittarius need to know at this time? And someone is wanting to like reconcile. Someone is seeing like there is no limit to something regarding you. Someone feels like it's time for them to like start over with you or something like that here with I am limitless. Okay, I see you truly believing in yourself, trusting in your faith and your intuition. Okay, tell me more. You have 55. So there's definitely a lot of changing, a lot of changes that's been made. It says, I am evolving and you have deception here. So I feel like um, with you evolving, like you're learning to see things more clearly. Okay. And use your discernment in a lot of situations because shit isn't always what it seems. Okay. You have the number 55. So you could be born December 5th, December 10th, November 25th. Okay. It says substantial changes in your future. Embrace the change, a need to overcome your insecurities and let go of your fears. And I'm seeing um, self-esteem here. You have let your fears dissolve. So I feel like with you evolving and with you realizing the truth about something, the Ace of Swords to the, to the Knight of Swords, I feel like there is some type of clear communication coming in that is allowing you to accomplish things and also dissolve your fears, okay, and evolve even more, okay? Let's see. Someone definitely could be changing here in love, all right? Someone could have made the choice, okay? Lovers to the magician, to the two of swords, to the six of wands, to go ahead and change for the better. Someone who's missing you, wow. Tell me more. What does Sagittarius need to know at this time? Okay, you have the number 26 with I am tactful. It says you have a desire to succeed and will feel most accomplished when your work benefits others. Your intuitive awareness of what people want allows you to come up with innovative solutions to meet their needs. Wow. So you could be born uh, November 26, December 6, December 2nd, December 12th, November 28th, December 18th, December 8th. December 11th, November 21st, December 21st, okay, I am tactful, so you could be helping others, you could be guiding others, or someone is helping guide you through something, okay, someone here could be seeking therapy, I see love, I am tactful, let your fears dissolve with guidance, so there's somebody that you could be, um, that could be mentoring you or you could be mentoring someone, okay? Or you could be seeking some type of advice here, all right? Why is the first quarter moon in Leo here for Sag? Why is the first quarter moon here in Leo with Be Humble? Why is this important? Okay, you have the writer with 12. You could be born December 12th, November 22nd, December 3rd, December 13th, November 23rd. It says movement, quick decisions, and progress. Hmm. I feel like with whatever decisions that you're making, Sagittarius, you're not really announcing them or you're not really going out of your way to question them here would be humble it's like you are uh confident i see you being confident in your decisions i see you making quick decisions and making progress and being confident in the in the decisions that you make i do see this two of swords here to the six of one so i do see you accomplishing things with the decisions that you're making okay and someone feels like you're like a rider someone feels like you're loyal as well is what I'm seeing here with the writer. 
and i just see you riding some type of waves too like you're going like with the flow of something as well and that's causing you to like accomplish a lot a lot more like you're getting more done here with movement quick decisions and progress you're getting more done by you know allowing things to to be natural and take its natural course and go in the direction that it's going in let's see tell me more about the full moon in cancer let your fears dissolve it says specters with the number 35 okay it says discernment, critical thinking, and insight. Yes, I do feel like your discernment is increasing here uh, as you let your fears dissolve. You're like you're becoming more sure of yourself. You're becoming more clear in your thinking, okay? And this could be dealing with love and dealing with guidance, dealing with the direction in which you're going in, okay? The choices that you make, the places you go here with adventure, okay? And the things that you choose to put your energy and focus into here with the cycle. Wow. Some of you could be expecting or you could be finding out that someone is expecting, okay? Okay, let's get some signs and some planetary energy. What does Sagittarius need to know at this time? What does Sagittarius need to know at this time? Thank you, Spirit. Okay, you have Uranus. So there is some type of surprise here. You could be connected to an Aquarius, Okay. I see you getting some type of surprise. Let's see. Tell me more. Something is happening unexpectedly. I feel like this could be this accomplishment or this could be something dealing with love. A choice that's being made in love. An unexpected surprise in love. Someone wants to surprise you. Hmm. Why is Uranus here? You could be born December 20th, November 30th. Okay, and you have Earth. Okay, you could be connected to an Earth sign. Uh, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, okay? You have the number 26 twice. Look at that. You definitely could be connected to an earth sign, all right? Or something with the earth, something with your finances. I'm seeing the Ten of Pentacles here. Something with your finances could be changing unexpectedly for the better, okay? There could be a family here involved. Someone wants to have a family with you. This could be a surprise to you. There could be a surprise uh, proposal as well. Let's see. I see. I do see the lovers with the magician and the two of swords with the six of one. Someone could want you to say yes, okay, to something. Okay, look, you have Aquarius at the bottom of the deck. You could be connected to an Aquarius or air sign. Okay, why is Uranus here with Earth? Some type of unexpected communication could be coming in for you. Why is Uranus here with the Earth? Okay, you have fire, okay? Could be connected to a Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, standing out here strong. And you have the number 23. You could be born November 23rd as well. Okay, fire. Okay, something that's going to be very, very passionate for you is coming up or is coming in. All right, this could be dealing with love. This could be dealing with your career and your family. I, I do see the earth here. Some, something unexpected could be happening like within your family dynamic. I'm seeing some type of passionate new beginning. I want to get one more. Okay, let's get the overall of this. Let's get some more planetary energy here. I feel like you're getting some type of unexpected news regarding your finances or your stability or a home or something here with the earth and fire. Because the fire energy is you. This Uranus energy is something that is popping up out of the blue. It's unexpected. And with the earth here, wow, I just see you like being happy about some, some type of good news that you're getting. Tell me more about this energy overall. You have Neptune. Okay, wow. Something could feel like it's a dream come true. For some of you, this could feel like a dream come true. Uh, Sagittarius, you could be connected to a Pisces as well. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful messages that came through today. I hope y'all enjoyed them. Okay. This is the Sagittarian Goddess. I love y'all. And I will see y'all in the next reading.